Hello guys, today I want to talk about a feature in PHP 8 called named parameters and it is based on a package I found that simple comments package from Ryan Chandler to add a comments to whatever model you have, for example, post comments. So you would add has comment to any of your model and then you can do post comment to that model with comment text. But what it uses and what specifically I want to show in this video is these two examples. So additional parameters to that post comment may be a user or maybe a parent comment or both. If they are not present, then user is logged in user or if there's no logged in user, then it stays null. And then parent, if it's not present, it means that comment doesn't have any parent. And the convenient part is, although the function itself has three potential parameters, you can skip the second parameter and provide just the third parameter by providing its name. So if we go to the package source itself, the content is string, but then any model of user and then comment of parent by default both null and if you provide the name this or this one by calling the function php8 will figure out which is which so i have installed that package locally and let's open artisan tinker and i will show you what i mean so let's get the first post i've seeded something in my database post first and then let's add a comment if we just generally add a comment of something it adds a comment and this is the structure of a comment which uses polymorphic relations. So user ID is null because I'm not logged in. Parent ID is null because I didn't provide that. And it's just a comment to the post with ID one. Now, if I type in, for example, user first, providing just the user, then user ID is one. Great. If I provide all three parameters, for example, user first is the user, and then comment first, or actually I probably should provide the full path in Tinker, which is Ryan Chandler comments models comment like this, then the parent is six. But if I don't want to provide the user, which means I want to assume that it's logged in user, but I do want to provide the parent, you can do something like this. So skip the user first, and provide parent this and that would also work so user id becomes null and the parent is set successfully so this functionality appeared in php 8 it's called named arguments as usual the best place to find the news about php new versions is stitcher.io blog so i will link that article in the description below and you can read some more about that question to you do you use named arguments in your projects and do you like them shoot in the comments below and if you want to follow all the news about PHP and Laravel, of course, subscribe to the channel. And also you can subscribe to my weekly newsletter, which I send every Thursday with all the Laravel news of the week. Or subscribe to my Twitter. Follow me on Twitter if you don't want to wait for a week and want to get news in kind of live feed. All the links will be in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.